Welcome back, guys and girls, to Two Assassins Tango in London. This is Evie Fry, and we are ready to save more of Whitechapel on our way to making Henry Green proud and stifling the Templar presence. Thank you guys so much for making this series awesome thus far. All your support is super appreciated. It lets me know you want more videos fast, and I will do my best to bring them to you as quickly as I can. Keep those thumbs up coming. Today's question of the day is what is your favorite year? Doesn't have to be a year you were alive. It might be a year in the future. Mine is 1989. That's the year I was born, December 13th, 1989. Me and Taylor Swift were both born. One of the coolest days, I think, ever. <laughs> Maybe that's a little bit self centered, but uh, we literally were born on the same day, same year. And it was pretty cool. For now, though, there's a lot of sad people, and we gotta make them happier. So, uh. Okay. I'm just gonna hide behind this guy selling rock potatoes. I don't think that the uh, the constables or the police officers or whatever those are actually go for you unless you're being obnoxious. This is a veggie ramp. We run up the veggie ramp. Oh my gosh, that feels pretty weird. Asparagus. Um, there's one of those glitches close by, so let's grab that as we make our way uh, towards a mission here in a second. Smokestacks, and you can see the glitch right there. If, I'm not gonna like hunt collectibles until way later in the game, but if there is like a a really obvious one, I might as well, right? You know what I mean? No, don't do that. Okay, I guess do that. Looks like I have to jump it from this building over here. So that's a ropes accord run. It's like harps accord, but roping. Um, I think it's right from this building. Yes. Or maybe it's from the other side? Why can't I not... Okay, or not. Like, she refuses to jump. <laughs> There's two guys just, like, chilling. They're like, what is this lady doing? Londoners get weirder and weirder by the moment. Uh, let's open over map here and pick a point. Um, after we completed last video's mission, where we blew up that guy with dynamite in ferocious fashion... Um, it opened up this portion of the map. We got a few uh, other things. There's a lock chest. There's a shop. There's a vintage beer bottle. So I'm going to circle around and grab these three things. And then we're going to head to point A, which is the Aberleen, we presume, mission. But first, I'm going to go here and grab this bottle, grab that chest. I'm not sure what this little mark is. Oh, that's Spittlefield's Market. That's where we were for our mission. So we'll wind back that way real fast. And then we'll go after Aberleen uh, and the actual next mission. And we're going to hop through a house. Hello, friends. Hello, foes. And away we goes. Um, and maybe I'll switch back to Jacob for the mission, just for, uh, something a little different. That guy says hello. Don't worry about me. I'm just a girl looking for beer. It's weird as that sounds. Shush! Shush, friends. Um, okay, the lock chest then. I gotta say, like, the polish level here seems to be far greater than Unity. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but I haven't run into any hiccups, any bugs. Early on in Unity, I ran into one very, very, like, glaring glitch. It was inside of a church, and you were climbing. I mean, it was super hard to climb in this one spot. I got stuck. It was just awful. And that sort of soured me on the game straight from the get-go. Here, though, the get-go has been really darn good. Starting off fun. Everything is pretty cool. Um, what are these guys? It's a gang. It's a level 4 gang. I'm not really sure. The green gang. Are those my guys, maybe? <laughs> Jacob's Rooks. I don't think they exist yet. All right, let's pick the lock here. And away we go. Grabbing some goodies. Like, uh, colors green. Oh, sweet. I got green colors, so should I should I change that? Let's see. Um, green. We're a green girl. Holy shnikes, look at that. Evie has gone green. She now reminds me of, like, Robin Hood and or Thorn from Battleborn and or the Leprechaun. I like these, like, vegetable ramps. Those are pretty sweet. And that guy is ringing for veggies. Ring for veggies, please. Please, sir, can I have some veggies? Ring for veggies. Looks like we gotta walk around this side in order to grab the last chest. There is a evil woman right there, an evil man. Um, and then climb this wall. And the chest, right here, beautacious. 
Look at that kick. I kind of like our green outfit. We got some chemicals, some leather, and some money. Um, and now we're going to make our way to A. When we get there, we'll switch to Jacob just to keep it mixed. I actually like Eevee better so far. But I want to give Jacob a fair shot, and I know that some of you probably prefer Jacob, so I figure if we mix it up, that would be quite cool, don't you think? You can let me know how you feel about that in the comments as well. I know our question is about favorite year. I think this currently is 1878 or 1868, one of the two. I wonder if how much, like, if there's any extra areas. You know how in, like, um, Assassin's Creed 2 and 3 and stuff, like, you would move between major places of interest? Hey, thief! This lady's the thief, I'm gonna tackle her? I feel bad tackling this old lady, but hey. Thieves come in all shapes and sizes, apparently. Alright, I'm just completing crowd events. Uh, anyhow, but you know how you would travel to some, like, beastly, like, supplementary areas? I wonder if there's anything like that in this game. Like, we get to go to, I don't know, France for one mission, or Italy, or America, or, I don't know, just, like, one random mission that's, like, on a boat or something. You guys know what I'm saying, don't you? Oh my god, I'm sorry! The boy was trying to wash his mother's socks, and now she's going to eat him alive. That's just terrifying. I'm sorry, boy. You ring your mother's stomach once, and that's where you shall return. As creepy as that sounds. Ooh, look at this. Some nice climbing points in this game. The whole city is so climbable. Now, I feel like they have way less of the cross-street ropes and bridges that they had in, like, past games, even, like, in Brotherhood and, uh... I don't know, anything. Because they want you to use that rope launcher, which we don't have yet. And when we do, you'll be like, oh my god, how awesome is this? Because you're using it all the time. Hey, I found an illustration. Isn't this one? Yeah. No, it's a news. No, it is an illustration, even though it's a newspaper. Those aren't lit up because we haven't uh, freed this area from its villain. But it looks like once we head uh, to the other side of this building, we'll be able to begin the Aberline mission. Alright, you can see our XP bar, the blue, on the right there, by the number two. And this is where we want to be. Alright, Aberline we presume. Oh, and Jacob's here. So, from this point, I will, uh, I'll switch to Jake. And now I'm Jake. And, uh, should we give him a different color? Sure, why not? It's about time we mix things up. We're gonna give him the teal, even though it looks kind of nasty. I mean, it looks better in person than it does in the menu screen. All right, play this mission, baby. Let's do it. Uh-oh. Clocks are spinning. Time is twisting. We're being sucked into the future. I don't see Mr. Aberline. Well, we tried. I may know a thing or two about that splendid fellow you're talking about. What's this? What? <laughs> Are you trying to blow the gaff? What? Sergeant Aberline, at your service. Mm. I presume you're the Fry Twins Green mentioned. I was expecting you to be a policeman. I was expecting you to be discreet. Henry Green said that you could help us go unnoticed. This is how it will work. I will give you the names of criminal gang members. You will bring them back to me. Quietly. Oh, we'll be as quiet as an old lady. A very hairy, strange old lady that looks a lot like a policeman. <laughs> what a character. I do like the fact that we're both kind of in these green garbs right now. A little bit of sibling coordination, huh? That's what I like to see. All right, reach high ground, and then he's gonna point to out targets. Okay. You got quite the plump tummy there, man. Pretty sweet. Full of sweets, I'm guessing. Um, four skills available, four new skills, I guess. Counter boost. Lock picking two most doors in London. Uh huh. Intimidation. Kidnap enemies no longer try to escape. Eagle Vision three. Now shows which they're facing. That's pretty darn helpful. Um. I'm, I'm gonna save my points because a lot of these cost two anyways any corpses at the station approach the target from behind and attempt to make them talk okay then bring them to my carriage carefully and we talk about the first time we run into a glitch and there it is <laughs> could not climb that surface gosh I like I freaking jinx myself take the memory target captive and bring them to the drop a point the best rewards are grand for living targets alive okay I've entered lighter territory here 
I don't really consider that a huge glitch. That was just like running against the wall. Kidnapping. When undetected by an enemy, press circle to kidnap them. Move slowly near enemies to shrink your detection rate. Yes. Moving faster will make it easier for enemies to detect you. Press circle to shove them into the carriage. All right. And that's my kidnap man. Okay. Hold on. Really? Where did you guys come from? Hold on. Let's, uh... Can I restart this? I'm gonna fail this mission. Kill me. Beat me up. Get me. Ah! Two more strikes. I just feel really bad that... We failed right off the get-go. I didn't know that, uh... I had no clue that... All of a sudden, I, I would fly out of the... The hay, and they would see me and start getting angry. Like, their... Their zero-to-hero anger meter... Happened in, like, one and a half seconds. What's that about, man? Can't let that go down this time. Alright, so Jacob... Resurrecting himself from the dead in this uh, white chamber of secrets. Now my coat looks blue, even though teal is the color. Supposedly it kinda looks blue. All right, that wasn't so bad in terms of a load screen. I thought it'd be way worse. All right, so we can get him this time. We'll do things a little bit more stealthily. And uh, some, whoa, there's somebody right here. Tackle the thief. You're, are, you're not the thief, are you? Wait, who's the thief here? Not you, I guess. Okay, bounty hunt, yeah. But where? Wasn't there a thief? I guess they don't care. Oh, the constable's coming. Don't mind me. All right, let's uh, run up the vegetable ramp here. Whoa, let me climb them veggies, boy. We'll get up high, identify our target, Homer Dalton, and bring him back. This shouldn't be very tricky. All right, there he is. Lots of thugs all around. There's a shop, though. And if I could get there, it'd be glorious, because I don't have any knives on me. And kidnapping this guy would be a heck of a lot easier if I could just knife the heck out of people around. Um, we got two walking through. They're kind of, like, making out in the corner. This is Homer Dalton, by the way. Got some nice lumberjack pants, slick bag hair. Looks like a decent enough chap, but we're gonna bring him in. Um... Okay, then there's a level four gang guy there. All right, so let's watch out for this guy, because this is what happened last time. They were walking right past, and we were like, "Oh snap!" Okay, two dudes walking. Let's let them pass through. Also, these policemen. Yeah, back away. Oh my god, this is like a cesspool of red. Really could use those knives. Alright, those guys are all leaving. These guys are leaving. So I guess when he turns around, I'm going to go kill this guy here on the left. And then grab him. He's kicking this guy who's down. That's not very nice. You're a walking meme. Or metaphor. Phrase or whatever. Common saying. Okay. Get off me! Shh! I don't Piss require off. a reason to end your life. Oi! Shut your gob. Don't make noise. Meet my blade. What is it that you think I've done? Collecting rent from people who don't owe you a shilling. Uh, yeah, me and half the Richies in this bloody city. Get in there, bum. There we go. That was a lot Maybe. easier. <laughs> but I'm starting with you. Just gotta find our place. Help! Help! All right. Oh, now I have to drive him. Oh man, I'm every part of this operation. 
I'm the identifier, the, like the, the point man. I'm the, uh, the guy who actually does the kidnapping. Ah, that was probably not a good idea. All right, I have to bring him back alive. Let's get out of here. All right. Yeah, without crashing. Get down a little. Let's ride. Uh, anyways, and I'm the guy who puts him in the basket, otherwise known as a carriage. And I'm the delivery man, the getaway driver. I'm everything. Jacob Fry, at your service. Saving the city of London. One crappy criminal at a time. This guy was trying to take rent from people he didn't even know. Get out of my way. And that makes him upset. All right. But we deliver. Even if they're angry, we'd be glad to see him behind bars. They took our pizza, and now we have loyalty with Frederick Abeline. Um, the more you do missions for people like Henry Green, Frederick Abeline, the more you gain loyalty, and then you can unlock, based on different levels, the, the gear and stuff as you see. Like our next reward is the 1856 revolver. Then we get some uh, outfit, and then another gun, another gun, another gun, which is pretty cool. Trick nasty, and then we're working on the area. So another Whitechapel sector. He's sent back to normal coloring. Um, next up, we've got a gang stronghold, or we've got to catch an urchin. I think we'll probably move to the gang stronghold next. Uh, I'm currently here. Let's go to the shop and buy some knives, because I ain't got none, hun, right now. And uh, it's kind of hurting. I do have an extra skill point. I think that's an extra one, so I can buy another a skill that costs two. Um, but before I do that, let's uh, let's refill my throwing knives. Thanks for five. Um, and then let's go grab a skill. Apparently there's some new ones unlocked. Maybe not. I don't know. Just highlighting these things. I do have two points, though. So let's buy... Um, I kind of like the lock picking. Ooh. Less likely to be detected. Eagle Vision 3. Well, this leads to stealth 2. Um, I don't know. I like Eagle Vision 3, because then we can see the way that they're facing, which is super helpful. Stealth stats increased by 7, and I also like lockpicking 2. Um, for now, let's just take... Let's take Stealth. For Jacob, at least. Maybe Evie can be the Doormaster or something. Alright, that's pretty sweet. You know where to find me. And uh, now we can work our way towards... Pick up this page on the way and then we'll head hither. What is this? St. Mary Matfelian. I guess it just lights up interesting places or landmarks. Something like that. There's a chest here that isn't on the map. You need one of those uh, area maps if you wanted that. And we got some silk, some metal, and some poundage. I got quite a lot of currency now, which is cool. But uh, let's grab this illustration down and head towards the gang stronghold as Jake will play as him for a little bit. I think I'll just swap back and forth. Unless you guys have a super preference, uh, that might be my question next time or something. We'll have to see. For now, though, let's head up here. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wrap this video up. I'll fast travel here, and then we will uh, be right where we want to be, close to that gang stronghold to start next episode off with a bang. Not from our gun, but from our stealthy blade. Until that time, guys and girls, hope you're enjoying and having a fun time with this series like I am. Again, like people ask me what I think of Syndicate, it's starting off really well. I hope it continues. My fingers are crossed. We'll have to wait and see. Until that time, though, everybody, thanks again for being awesome. Thanks so much for supporting. Drink so much, all. We will see you all later.